Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to make a deposit from undeposited funds. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University and I wanted to do this video because uh, I want, this will help make your life a little bit easier, uh, especially when you're going to reconcile your bank statement. Okay, so I want to set up this scenario a little bit here. If you are receiving payments from customers, let's say they're checks, they, you know, they could be credit cards, whatever the case may be. And you record these in QuickBooks. Okay. So you're going to customers and receive payments and you go in and you, you know, let's say it's a uh, Christy Abercrombie uh, family room and she pays $2,610. Okay. So you received this check. All right. So let me put that here. It's going to automatically check it off and I'm going to hit save and close. Okay. So we received that payment. Now, typically the, the way most people have this set up is they will put this to undeposited funds. And so they default, the default is it gets put to undeposited funds. And then when you go to the bank, you record that deposit. Okay. So when you do that, you're going to go to banking, make deposits. Okay. So you'll see here that you select, these are all the payments that we have received. And we have these, let's say these, uh, these checks uh, sitting in a desk drawer. I don't know, they're locked up in a safe and you're gonna go and make these deposits. Okay, so you're gonna take these to the bank. Now, here's a little trick uh, that this is where, what you wanna do when you make these deposits. Okay, so every time you go to the bank, you want to make a deposit slip, or if you do, let's say remote deposit, uh, or even, you know, deposit the checks with your phone. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but for each and every deposit that you make, you want to make sure that you only check off the ones that are on this deposit. Okay. So a typical mistake that a lot of people make is they will say, okay, you know what? I took all of these deposits to the bank this week and they could have gone three times. Okay. So they might've done these three, the first day, these three, the second day, you know, and the rest of them, the third day. Okay. It could have been a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but then at the end of the week, what they're going to do is they're going to go and they're just going to select all and make a deposit. Now, when you do that, what happens is, if I click OK right here and then I save and close, it's going to show one deposit in my check register for $61,402. Now, the problem is I actually made three separate deposits. So when I get my bank statement, it's going to show three separate deposits. But when I go to reconcile, it's going to show one. Okay. So I want to make sure you understand this so that you want to make sure, let me unselect these, that if I go to the bank on Monday and I take these three checks, okay, and I say, okay, and we have a total deposit of 3,680 bucks, my deposit slip or my remote deposit or my, you know, deposit by phone should match this 3,680 bucks. And the reason is, is because it'll show up on your bank statement as 3,680 deposit. And when you go to reconcile your checking account, it's going to show up as a 3,680 deposit. A lot of people get very confused if they deposit the whole amount, but they made separate independent deposits because then you have to match up those independent deposits with the total, uh, that is showing, uh, in QuickBooks. All right. So it can become very, very confusing. Okay. So let me save and close. Okay. So I want to go back to banking and make deposits. Okay. So it's going to bring this up again and again. So if you're going one day and you're going to make this, okay. So a very good practice to follow is that if you are recording payments throughout the week and you go to the bank or you make a deposit, check off the ones that you are going to deposit, whether you do it uh, with a deposit slip or a bank bag or a remote or whatever the case may be, check off to make sure that these match the physical deposit and it'll save you a bunch of time when you go to reconcile your bank statement. Okay. Any questions whatsoever? Uh, feel free to leave a comment below, uh, ask any questions you may have. Also head over to the QuickBooks University. Would love to teach you some of these, you know, best practices, these tips and tricks 
the best way to get the most use out of QuickBooks because at the end of the day, it's not just about keeping a uh, record of what you spend money on and, and how much you make. It's about growing a business and it's about becoming the best uh, uh, business you can be and becoming the most profitable business you can be. And that's what I'm here to do to help uh, help you to do by learning how to use QuickBooks the best way possible. Head over there now, qbuniversity.org.